welcome to the tutorial of Pixinsight. Insight. Uh, this is my second go around of trying to do a tutorial. Uh, the last one was not nearly as good. Uh, I think I didn't understand Pixinsight Insight nearly as well as I do now. Um, there was a huge difference between linear and nonlinear and when to apply specific processes and I really feel like I've got it down pat now. So I want to try to share that knowledge with you. Uh, the way I learned all this was from um, IP4AP.com and also Master of Pix Insight. They have some really good tutorials and I really recommend that you, uh, if, if, if what I'm going over to is, is too quick and too fast, I really recommend you use those websites. Uh, those guys know what they're doing, they're very knowledgeable, uh, and without all their uh, videos and guides I wouldn't be able to create what I'm creating today. So big shout out to those guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you've downloaded all the files from my website um, and extracted them, you should have a folder called SH2275, which is the um, uh, Rosette Nebula. <laughs> Duh. Um, inside the Rosette Nebula, um, I've got a couple folders that I've created. Um, we've got bad lights and we'll go through all this, um, all the image files, um, and we've got uh, a, a group of lights, flats, darks, and biases that we're going to learn how to stack or integrate, and then also a registration folder where we'll create the registration and an icons.xpsm. Uh, to get started, you just need to double click on that. Um, for me, I uh, tweaked my Pixin site so it automatically loads these icons uh, by default. This icon set that I've created, and we'll go over it here in a second, is um, is essentially designed for one-shot color. So this is inside PixInsight, and um, I'll try to explain as much as I can, but I don't want to go too, too in-depth with everything, uh, just to keep it simple and kind of go through the process. But uh, essentially, this is considered your desktop inside PixInsight, and all these icons over here are the um, uh, process icons that we're going to use to manipulate an image. Um, I, it may seem like a lot, but we'll take it real slow and kind of go through it. And some of these we're not going to even use in this video. I just have them here uh, because I do use these um, tools to create mass and do pixel math to, to, to manipulate images and stuff like that. And uh, uh, again, we're not going to dive into that. Mostly we're going to deal with everything that's in here. Um, and I'm going to try to step through it is um, kind of quickly, but also give you kind of a good understanding of what it is. So um, one thing with PixInsight, we'll just kind of, this will just be an intro and I'll try to explain how I've got everything set up. So in here you have a process explorer and in here you can type in processes that you want to find. Um, up at the top, you can go to processes and all processes and you can find all these processes as well. And they're also broken down in different places. There's a lot of stuff to understand and that's kind of why I wanted to create an icon set so that you know what processes that we're gonna be working with. And as you dive deeper into PixInsight, those are more things that you can learn as you, as you dive deeper. Um, one thing is my windows may be different than yours. So inside um, these windows, when you open them up, if you click on the down arrow here, you can choose where you wanna put them. So you can put them at the left top, left bottom, right top, and right bottom. Uh, and I move mine around because when I was working on images, um, I found that when I was always moving my mouse on this side of the screen, on the, on the left-hand side, I would always bump into the Process Explorer like that. So I'm just mousing over and it, and it pops open. The other thing that I did too is I, I preferred to have the Process Console over here. This is our console and it's going to basically tell us what PixInsight is doing. Uh, and I liked it better on this side. So that's kind of just a, a basic intro into PixInsight. Um, I, like I said, I don't want to dive too, too deep into all this. Um, there's a lot to learn in PixInsight and I'm just trying to keep it as simplistic as possible so it doesn't so it's not so much to chew off on. So uh, this is just the intro video and we'll go ahead and get started with the processes here. 